welcome to online classes this is your first class and we'll start with your first chapter office tools as the name implies office work creating documents official documents accounts budget etc right these tools these office tools are specifically created to help and to increase the productivity of the user in the office instead of working manually on a page or a sheet user can edit and manipulate data more easily on the computer we'll talk about these as we all know that hardware and software work together to accomplish a task right without a software computer is just a machine you cannot use a hardware without a operating system there are two types of softwares system software and application software system software consists of a group of programs that control the operations of a of a computer equipment mouse memory keyboard printer etc as for the example windows linux unix android iOS is an operating system application software is the most important part software that can perform a specific task for the user such as word processing accounting budgeting or payroll fall under the category of application software these are application software the most used application softwares in windows or on computer but if we look today's generation we have smart computers in our pockets we call them phones cell phones you can call through the phone you can contact somebody you can send them your data you can send them your files you can send them your pictures all kind of text multimedia and sheets can be accomplished through an app on the phone whatsapp facebook these are social networking apps word spreadsheets these are technical apps where you work on introduction to office tools office tools are software programs designed to make computer users more productive and efficient at their workplace as i've said earlier these programs are there to help and increase the productivity of a user just imagine that you are typing something you remember something you want to type a whole page right and you are writing on a page you wrote a line you wrote two lines and when you started writing a third line you realize that the first line can go after this then what do you do you cross that line and write it again after the third line you start your paragraph from something else this is made easier in microsoft word even if you forget or remember something afterwards you can easily copy and paste that line you don't have to rub and write again with this the productivity is saved increased and the time is saved as well types of office tools word processing tool ms word word tools notepad database softwares dbase foxpro ms access 
spreadsheet tools ms excel presentation tools ms powerpoint multimedia software that can help user to create audio and videos using ms word now ms word as we have discussed in previous class ms word can create edit and format a document you can insert tables pictures and edit them as well we also use the feature of mail merge in the previous class spell check and treasures etc we use and see those documents again to create business documents to store and reuse read dynamic content to create letters and letter heads to design different documents such as resumes or invitation cards now what is a resume the most important question so far is resume imagine a student who just finished school and he or she wants to apply for a job then this kind of format will help a student to submit their credentials name address phone number what they have studied the structure of programming and their hobbies that is in resume formatting in ms word here we will learn about word in different manner before using word tool we must define and plan a document design a very important point whenever you want to do something you must plan your document that my document will should look like like this and i want to insert specific picture this picture at this point i want to draw this at here at this page or this level planning a document design is vital very important to ensure the print out printed output of our document now we can do this by creating our own ideas on the page or using templates templates are predefined or inbuilt sheets built in templates for a from a wide selection if you want to include resume agendas etc you open a microsoft word click on new here either you can go with a blank document your own ideas your own designs or either that you can edit with built in designs for example resumes you open this double click or download here now a user you can edit this document let's say a r a g e a name your email your address your phone number or a website if you don't want to use it you can delete it as well your objective what do you want your education type of school school name degree and your experience and your hobbies now this is a resume the basic information that you need to give to your employer your future or potential employer it's really helpful if you don't have ideas templates or built in designs a simple design or you can create your own designs right let's cross this these are templates these are step by step processes given in your book you can follow these create those documents creating a resume that we just did then ms excel like ms word we have already learned so much about ms excel as well we have used excel for creating worksheets tables 
results, doing mathematical calculations and representing data in pictorial view means in a pictures like graphs etc right excel is a spreadsheet program what is a spreadsheet what is a sheet for starters sheet is just a page that you work on similarly in ms excel This is a sheet, a blank sheet, right? You work with tables, columns and rows. This will include sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. This is your current sheet, your spreadsheet and if you add three sheets separately, this is your workbook. Similarly, you have books, workbooks or notebooks in your bags you work on. Correct? Same as we have created blank templates, we can use templates in MS Excel as well. Students, please note, we don't have certain topics in our syllabus, so I won't be covering them specifically. I will provide a PDF file, a list of scratched off documents and we'll use or we'll learn those topics that are in our syllabus. So we, don't, we won't be using this, sales invoice etc. Simple, in simple terms if you want to create a sales invoice, a bill for a company or your own company you can create an image here add an image you can create tables etc right using mail merge with spreadsheet in our previous class we have merged our documents together as a mail merge but today we'll learn about using ms word and ms excel together creating student annual report the end of the year what happens you have lot of students lot of results now how can we create a sheet for a specific student a result sheet we'll learn about it in here first of all we should prepare the annual report format and ms word something like this your school name your reference number annual report admission number role number name father's name etc right and you have a table specific mark details punjabi english math etc now create this table and on the other side we have prepared an excel worksheet now similarly we have created an excel sheet in which students admission number roll number name father's name subject wise marks obtained for example in punjabi english math science sst and grades of evs and computers are filled something like this we have to calculate total using sum function this one some function we can use average and we can calculate percentage as well in this table the percentage has been included and then the result pass and fail now what we need to do is open ms word click on mail tabs mailing start mail merge follow these step by step process as stated in your book you'll realize it's really easy you need to use existing list the list that is already present in your sheet click on that option we should place our cursor where we want to insert the value now this is important 
we need to place our cursor where we want to insert the merged fields now go to insert merge field option and write and insert merge groups a drop down menu if you then when you click on this this will include all the excel sheet details here and when you click on them it will work like this this will be your final result after inserting all the fields we can preview the result of students by clicking preview result option here preview result when you click on here here for example here this button will give you one page back and one page forward these buttons will give you the starting and the last page this is what they're saying here you can click on first and second or the last one if you want to see all the results click on all here and you can see the results as given below now what are page layouts we have talked about page layout right layout is a design basic design of the page how your page should look like margins your borders your text your image what it should look like it should be predefined you can go here you can change the themes text size aspect ratio colors margins custom margin you can design or let's say here the margin is decreased orientation landscape size columns lines before and after indentation everything you can change it here and page layout go through these steps and do let me know if you don't find it easier page orientation documents everything portrait landscape custom margin page breaks inserting a page break etc tab stops manual tab stops clear tab stop finalizing a document now this is important you have written your document you have com completed everything now you want to check if there are any spelling mistakes or anything that is grammatically wrong what do you do you look at the red lines and the blue lines within your page when you write the word shows different see this word is not is in not in dictionary so show it is showing in red line you go to review spelling check and grammar the word is saying you must have typed this word wrong this can be any of these words if i click this and change it will automatically change now it is in green right it is saying this is the first letter you should resume staff first letter should be okay see green and red lines very important finalizing a document print preview how your page is going to be printed this is a preview then you can print it out ms powerpoint what is powerpoint presentation remember we had talked about presentations the how easy it is to give presentation with the help of slides pictures ms powerpoint helps you create a more interesting presentations which can include pictures multimedia graphics etc that way we can create 
a maximum impact on our listeners you can choose this is how your design looks when you open up now this is slide you new slide right this is how it looks what you can do is you can change your design this is your blank page either you can go with templates as well design here you can change the page layout you can write something let's say a b c you can give transitions let's say push up random bars right and then you can give animations animation is nothing more than giving an effect to something that is animation let's say fly in from which direction you can choose a number of other effects bounce slide show now you can choose how your presentation should look right Now these are step by step instructions how to change how to use a background read them out properly try to make new presentations with your own mind with your own ideas animations correct saving a presentation like every file we need to save a presentation file as well please note the extension of this file the presentation file is .ppt or .pptx the format is in save options saving presentation as pdf you can save this file as a pdf as a video now saving your file as a video is a long process you can select and a view WMV file it will take time because the rendering takes place slowly. The video creation is not an instant process like other file types. As the PowerPoint, the PowerPoint needs to create the video file. We can track the progress of video creation at the bottom of our presentation window. Once the creation is complete, the video file is created in the specific location. image file among many file types that powerpoint sports image file is also supported by it there are set of extension for image files like jpeg .jpg .gif .tiff or the most widely used .bmp ppt printing presentation means printing your presentation like other files we can also print our presentation we can make it as a broadcast cast list as well broadcasting is presenting your file to the whole world sharing your slide show to the world packaging you can save as and cds and ship it out save as a document you can save as a password guys this is another topic that is out of syllabus setting document password and this one slide show you don't have to learn or study about these if you want to learn about them you can do let me know and i'll teach you them separately with this this chapter is complete if you have any questions ask me and let me know thank you